right, it is six o'clock and I will call the 21st regular common council meeting to order. So clerk, please state the quote of the day. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Communication works for those who work at it. Thank you. Will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Excused. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Laster. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Unexcused. Alderperson Savaglio. Present. Alderperson Walton. Here. There are eight present. All right. Thank you. Next, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. We have Scout Pack 3859 from St. Dominic, who so will lead us in the pledge. So if you want to come up to the podium here, and then if everyone could stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, and the Scout Pack will lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you so much. It's, it's great to see young, young students get involved in their community and, and active in the Scouts. So stay involved and keep doing great work. Thank you so much. Uh, next will, um, item number three is approval of the minutes from a previous meeting. Vice President Flicky Paneski. Move to approve. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Those minutes are approved, thank you. Um, next is mayoral appointments. Uh, Assistant City Attorney Cameron. I, uh, honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Salasani Sander to the Zoning Board of Appeals. And that will lay over. Next is public forum. Um, clerk, anyone for public forum today? There's no one this evening. All right, next we'll go to Number seven, the state of the city address. Well, good evening, everyone. Council President Feldy, Vice President Flicky Paneski, Council members, Administrator Wolf, Assistant City Attorney Cameron, City Clerk De Bruin, City Staff, Department Heads, and most importantly, fellow Sheboyganites. Good evening, and I stand here before you today to present with you the State of the City Address. Before I dive in, I want to just give some important council recognition because leadership is a collaborative endeavor, and the work that is done here in the city is never done alone. This council marks several historic milestones, and for the first time in history, we have a female majority on the city council. Additionally, for the first time in our history, we have both of the leadership positions in the council president and vice president held by strong women leaders as well. By many benchmarks, this council is the most diverse in history, in age, and in background. Representation matters, and it is truly a benefit for our city that the legislative branch is a little more reflective of our community. 2021 has been a comeback year for our community and is still fully recovering from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to let all of Sheboygan know that the state of our city is stronger than ever before and we are better positioned more than we've ever been. We have more businesses growing and expanding and making major investments like we've never seen before. It has been exciting to see the commitment that so many Sheboyganites have in our great city. Our downtown and lakefront are the heart of our community and there's so much happening in Sheboygan. Downtown storefronts that were once empty are filling up and bringing new jobs and life into our downtown area. Tonight I wanna to share with you one of those stories of success from a small business owner, someone who's decided to invest and grow their, pan grow their business even during the pandemic. Lynn Podien, the owner of the game board, cares deeply about Sheboygan and has been in business since 2006. She started her business, The Game Board, because she believed in bringing innovative gameplay to all ages to advance critical thinking and stimulate brain development. Lynn moved locations to grow her business. Her investment in downtown, along with her loyalty in many other small businesses, is a great reflection of the passion that many Sheboyganites have. 
Growing businesses in our downtown, riverfront, or anywhere in the city creates a great sense of vibrancy and health for our entire city. I want to thank all of our local businesses for their continued commitment to the city of Sheboygan. If you're ever looking to grow or expand your business, please reach out to the city, the Chamber of Commerce, the SCEDC, or the Business Improvement District. Together, we continue, continue to support our many local businesses this year and into the future, whether you're downtown, in the state-of-the-art business park, or any corner of the city. I also want to recognize another important business and community leader. I want to thank Vu Yang for his long-term leadership in the Hmong community. From his wonderful radio show, to running the Union Market, to funding and founding the Hmong Veterans Memorial in D-Land Park, Vu is a shining example of what a community leader looks like. Vu's patience and determination and continued leadership has helped us all get to know each other a little bit better in our diverse community. Vu has also been recognized and received the Community Building Award at the Hmong Diaspora Banquet this past fall. Vu, on behalf of myself and the entire city council in the city, we wish you the best of luck in your retirement and next adventures. Our city has also so many wonderful tourism destinations for locals and travelers alike. Whether it's the John Michael Kohler Art Center, Bookworm Gardens, or even Blue Harbor, we have so much to offer. And of course, everybody knows that Sheboygan is the Malibu of the Midwest. In this past year, we had one of our best tourism seasons on record. We were on the world stage and got to show off all the great things that Sheboygan has, has, to, has to offer, and the Ryder Cup played a major role in bringing thousands of visitors and golfers from around the world to our great community. We were on the world stage and our community stepped up to this extraordinary event and truly put Sheboygan on the map. However, the long-term success of our tourism economy truly lies in the success of our many small hospitality businesses. Tonight, I wanna to highlight another true success of a local business that has been in our community for many years. He has been responsible for bringing many travelers from all over the United States and the world right here to the Malibu of the Midwest, Sheboygan. I wanna recognize Dan Welsh for his leadership in running one of the largest charter fishing fleets on the Great Lakes. For many years, Dumper Dan Charter Fishing has brought thousands of people to Sheboygan to fish and have fun on our beautiful Lake Michigan. Every year, there is a strong increase in interest in charter fishing, which results in increase in tourism throughout our city and the entire community. Thank you, Dan, for all that you do, for showing off Lake Michigan, one of our true gems, and our true gem within a city. In looking back at the accomplishments of 2021, we were able to strengthen and resolve many of our priorities in 2022. I want to thank Administrator Wolf and many of our department heads for leading a lot of the internal um, audits and fixes that we've made to make our city work much more harder inside and out. In April of 2021, I was elected mayor by the citizens of Sheboygan. The people of Sheboygan made it loud and clear that they want the city government to focus on fixing their crumbling roads, devise a plan to address and tackle our affordable housing shortage, and support local businesses, and continue to make sure that Sheboygan is a great place to live, work, and play. I'm here tonight to share with you that the city is committed to making these vital infrastructure improvements. In 2021, we completed many road and infrastructure projects, including North Taylor Drive, Superior Avenue, parts of South 12th Street, Park Avenue, Bell Avenue, North Franklin Street, Georgia Avenue, South 10th Street, and parts of Geely and Union Avenue as well. In 2022, our hardworking public works employees will be diligently working on many more infrastructure and road projects as well. We'll be working on finishing parts of Geely Avenue from North Taylor Drive through North 38th Street, South 12th Place, parts of Menning Road, North 8th Street and Superior Avenue intersections, South 12th Street and the Georgia Avenue intersections as well, parts of New York Avenue, Wisconsin Avenue, additionally parts of Niagara, Ontario and Grace Avenue. I want to thank our entire public works team for all these great projects and ensuring that these projects move forward and we get our roads fixed. One key indicator for the vibrancy and quality of life for any community is access to affordable and quality housing. As a city, we know that we need to ensure that affordable housing is accessible to all of our citizens. That is why the city is working diligently to address our housing needs, and we are already tackling and making great strides in what has been outlined in our affordable housing study. This year alone, 
250 Hanu units will be available at the Oscar Apartments on South 14th Street and Broadway. This is great news because many folks have already signed leases even before this project has been complete. We're also working on redeveloping the formal capsule property. This $26 million project will provide up to 101 units with 85 reserved for affordable senior units and 16 live work units as well. Additionally, we're working on a $12 million housing project that will be revitalizing 14th and Illinois Avenue and will provide 48 affordable housing units as well. The rents on this project will be ranging from $350 to $900 per month. We'll also be working with one of our great nonprofits in the community, Partners for Community Development, on a project on North 13th and Erie Avenue for Veterans Housing Initiative. This will be a $12 million undertaking and will provide 44 apartments with rents starting at $350 per month. While we're also focusing on acquiring new additional land for affordable housing developments. Right now, the city is moving forward with purchasing the former Juckums Hall on North 15th Street. This will provide this neighborhood with much needed investments and attention. Now, this is just a snapshot of some of the projects that we are working on with many different private and public partners. While campaigning as your mayor, I told you that under our leadership, we'd be laser focused on addressing affordable housing that is so necessary for good neighborhoods in a strong and vibrant community. Well, we're also focusing on filling several vacant buildings and spaces throughout our city, which is also which is also important to the success of our community. You've probably heard the exciting new redevelopment news, which will be taking place at the former Shopco site, which will now be the new Hobby Lobby and Ross Dress for Less. We are very excited that we'll be providing new re retail options right here in Sheboygan. Additionally, you probably heard the news that we'll be filling the old Save-A-Lot building on North 8th Street, which will now be our new senior center, Uptown Social. We are excited to provide a new hub for many of Sheboygan's active seniors. As we move forward through the 21st century, it is vital that we set a clear vision that helps our city grow. If our city does not move forward, we will fall behind. To ensure that we have a path forward, we are revamping our strategic plan and bringing it to the next level. Currently, we have a citizen's questionnaire open and we need your thoughts and ideas. So please check out the city's website, visit one of our social media pages, and please complete the, the citizen input questionnaire. Your thoughts and ideas are very valuable and this is a community effort. I also wanna thank and recognize the great work that our police and fire departments do every single day to continue making Sheboygan one of the safest cities in the great state of Wisconsin. It truly takes a village to make our community a great and safe place. And with your help, we can continue on this success. Consider getting involved and active in your neighborhood association or sign up to take part in either the police and or Fire Citizens Academy and get a great hands-on learning experience. Now, we still have many challenges that we still need to tackle. We still need to recruit many more people to our community to help support our many businesses. We need to continue to build more affordable and accessible housing, which was outlined in the housing study. And of course, we need to keep fixing our roads as well as many other obstacles that are in front of us. To strengthen the state of our city, we need to continue to work together and cultivate partnerships from all across the community and we can get it done and we can tackle any challenge that is thrown our way. Sheboygan has so much opportunity and potential and we are not taking our gas off the pet, we're not taking our foot off the gas pedal. And with your help, we can continue to move Sheboygan forward. Thank you so much and God bless the great city of Sheboygan. Thank you. All right. Next, we'll jump into a hearing regarding item number 112122. Older person Flicky Paneski. Um, I move to close the hearing. No, you need to open the hearing. Oh, okay. No, he Okay, never mind. Sorry about that.
okay. jumping the gun here. Pursuant to a notice yeah. published in Percival Notices sent by the city clerk, there is a hearing scheduled this evening to amend the city's future land use map of the city of Sheboygan's comprehensive plan to change the land use classification of property located on Erie Avenue, parcel number 59281204550 and parcel number 59281204560 from class employments to class multifamily residential. Is there anyone wishing to be heard on this item? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Alder flicky Paneski. I move to close the hearing. Second. There's been a motion and second to close the hearing. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of closing the hearing, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? The hearing is closed. All right, next is item number nine. Hearing number 12-21-22, pursuant to the notices published in Percival notices sent by the city clerk, there is a hearing scheduled for this evening to amend the city of Sheboygan's official zoning map to change the land use classification and property located on Erie Avenue, parcel number 59281204. 5550 and parcel number 59281204560 from class urban industrial to class urban residential. Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call. Uh, Director Pelchuk. Thank you, Mayor. So this is the parcels of land directly east of the uh, Burger King on the corner of North 14th and Erie Avenue. There's four parcels of vacant land there. Uh, two of the parcels are zoned residential and two of the parcels were zoned industrial. So the request is to rezone the two that are industrial so they're all consistent with residential and this is where uh, partners for community development and their partners will be looking to construct the affordable housing project that the mayor just referenced for veterans housing. So uh, this has gone through the planning commission. We haven't heard any issues from the neighbors. I, we believe this is a good use for that parcel in that neighborhood to try to revitalize and continue revitalizing the gateway neighborhood. So staff and uh, applicants support this moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Director Pelichek. Last call, anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, uh, Alder flicky Paneski. I move to close the hearing. Second. Motion and second from Alder Decker. Any discussion from Alders? Seeing none, all those in favor of closing the hearing, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The hearing is closed. Thank you uh, for, for doing that. All right, next is item 10. The consent agenda items 11 through 16. Um, Alder Flicky Paneski. I move to receive and file all reports of officers and receive all reports of committees and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. There's been a motion and second by Alder Decker. Any discussion on the consent agenda? Alder Flicky Paneski. I am referencing number 12, uh, which is the report from the police department regarding their goals. Uh, I see that Chief Domogowski is not here. Um, I had a question because the goals for 2021 in the September report changed from the December report. So my question is, the, the goals are for 2021. Why did they change? They changed for three categories, um, theft, property crimes, and Facebook likes. Um, so I, I will probably vote to not include this because I would like to have that answered before we adopt it or file. Would, would you just like to move to hold this item then, Alder Sure. Fineski? I will move to hold item number 12. All right, until the next meeting? Yes, please. There's been a motion to hold item 12 until the next council meeting. Is there, and then there's a second by Elder Decker. Any discussion on holding item 12 to the next council meeting? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of holding item number 12, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Item number 12 is now held until the next council meeting. 
All right, back to the main motion. The consent agenda is a motion to approve. Any other discussions on the consent agenda? Alder Flick Fineski. Regarding licensing, uh, these particular licenses were in regards to liquor licenses, and I have a question for our city attorney. I am familiar with licensing when it comes to um, zoning or property. You've, you've got to not put your ice machine here, and you've got to stay X number of feet away. Are there likewise the same kinds of restrictions to liquor licenses? Oh, when it's red, you're on. There we go. Uh, thank you, Alderperson Flicky Paneski. There are there are um, many restrictions when it comes to alcohol licenses. It's a very regulated uh, industry, and there, there's a number of rules that must be complied with. And then, if they're not complied with, there's a process by which that alcohol license can be uh, either suspended for a period of time or revoked, depending on what the what the behavior is. And that goes back to that subcommittee? It, uh, it starts at that subcommittee okay. and then would, would generally come back to the council. Perfect. Thank you. Holder Prell, is this a comment on this item? Okay. Any other discussion on item 14? All right. Holder Prella? Yeah, just a clarification on the 11. So how does that work? We, the board, uh, submit an application for a bidding contractor that has already been granted. Uh, Director Palachuk, you want to take that one? Under the committee rules, I guess, they award, they review the uh, qualifications of the contractors based on staff review, and then they uh, have the motion, they have the authority to grant or deny. Um, this is really coming to the council more as a matter of record than an action item, and it's just to bring everybody up to speed of who they either approved or denied. Thank you. Thank you, Alder Perilla. Any other discussion on the consent agenda? All right, seeing none, all those in favor of approving the consent? Sorry. Which one? The consent, well, the consent agenda needs to be a roll call, so the clerk will please call the roll. Alder Person Ackley? Aye. Alder Person Walton? Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Alderperson Laster? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Perella? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Eight ayes. All right. The consent agenda is approved. Next items, uh, report of officers, items 17 through 20 will be referred to various committees. Next is item 21, resolution number 26. 21-22 by Elder Persons Feldy and Flicky Paneski authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a conflict waiver letter prepared by Von Vizen Brayson and Roper uh, SC regarding the representation of the city of Sheboygan and Rogers Behavioral Health. Elder Person Flicky Paneski. I move to suspend the rules. There's, and there's uh, any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. I move to adopt the resolution. There's been a motion to adopt the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Motion, by, a second by Alder Decker. Any questions on this item? Alder Flicky Paneski? The, what I was understanding in the documents behind this is that the company, Von Briesen and Roper, were asking to to represent Rogers and do business with Rogers Behavioral Health, but they also have done done work with the city, so that that's why there may have been a conflict. Assistant City Attorney Cameron, that that's correct. Uh, the city, uh, we've got a, a number of outside uh, legal counsel that we use for various things. Uh, we use Von Briesen for some of our HR related items, um, and because they were approached, a different attorney than the ones we work with. Uh, were approached about representing Rogers Behavioral Health. Sort of the the standard practice is to ask for the conflict waiver. Um, nothing that they've learned from representing us is sort of relevant in what they're what they would be doing, and it's different folks doing it. So, so this is plain vanilla. Yeah, this there is nothing unusual about about doing this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, additional comments on this item. Seeing none. 
This is a roll call vote. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Walton? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Flicky Paneski? Aye. Alderperson Laster? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Pla? Alderperson Spoglio? Aye. Eight ayes. That's approved. Resolution number 292122 by Alderpersons Decker and Mitchell authorizing the mayor to execute the 2022 general contact contract between Sheboygan County Health and Human Services Department and Shoreline Metro regarding transportation for elderly and dis disabled individuals. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to suspend the rules. Any objections to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to adopt the resolution. Second. Motion by Alder Decker, second by Alder Perella. Any discussion on this item? Alderperson Savalio. Uh, thank you. Could we get a little background on this? It seems to be coming quickly uh, from a government entity that should we should have plenty of time to have seen this previously. I, I'd like to understand a little bit more. Uh, Director Palachek. From what I understand is this has been in the uh, Transit Commission's uh, referral for some time and they don't meet i think they meet maybe quarterly or every other month so they mm -hmm. took this up at their last meeting and i'm not sure what happened at that from that point but it didn't come forward in time so that's why it's a suspension of the rules so that they can continue to provide the service thank you alder flicky Pineski? uh i had the same question your honor thank all right you. thank you additional comments on this item Seeing none, all those in favor of approving item number 22, please state aye. 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 I'm sorry, this is a roll call vote. <laughs> Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Walton? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Flicky Paneski? Aye. Alderperson Laster? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Perillo? Aye. Alderperson Sfoglio? Aye. Eight ayes. That's approved. Items number 23 through 32 will be referred to various committees. Next is item number 33, report of committee number 204-21-22 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred chapter ordinance number 121-22 by older persons Feldy and Flicky Paneski to establish the Office of Director of Senior Services as a position at the department head level to permit the city administrator to make interim appointments to fill vacancies in all departments head level point of excuse me offices where specific provisions to fill said vacancies is not otherwise provided by state law. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adopt the charter ordinance as amended. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Alder Mitchell. Uh, just a couple comments for background for those that are not on the Finance and Personnel Committee. Uh, the title of this uh, ordinance sounds like we are passing two things tonight, both the officially making the Director of Senior Services into a department head level position and uh, laying out a process for interim appointments. However, the fact it is listed as amended is because in committee those two ideas were separated out. So the amended ordinance as we have it unless anybody tells me I'm wrong, is just focused on the Director of Senior Services. Thank you for that background. Any additional comments? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Walton? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Alderperson Laster? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Perella? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Eight ayes. That's approved. Next is item 34. That will be referred to the City Plan Commission. Item 35, RO number 115-21-22 by the City Plan Commission to whom was referred General Ordinance number 33-21-22 by Elder Persons Prella amending the City's future land use map of the City's comprehensive plan to change the land use classification of property located on Erie Avenue Parcel number 59281204550 and parcel number 59281204560 from employment to multifamily residential classification wishes to report that this matter was discussed 
at a regular city plan commission meeting on January 11th, and after due consideration, recommends receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Uh, Alderperson Mitchell. Thank you, Mary. Move to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Just going to motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Walton? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Alderperson Laster? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Perillo? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Eight ayes. That's approved. Right, RO number 116, 21, 22 by the City Plan Commission to whom was referred General Ordinance number 34, 21, 22 by older persons Perella in RO number 11, 111, 21, 22 by the City Clerk amending the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map or, of, excuse me, amending the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map of the City of Sheboygan's zoning ordinance to change the use District classification for property located on Erie Avenue, parcel number 59281204550 and parcel number 59281204560 from class urban industrial to urban residential classification. Wishes to report that this matter was discussed at a regular meeting of the City Plan Commission on January 11th. And after due consideration, recommends filing the meeting, filing the RO and adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Mitchell. Thank you, Mary. I move to receive the arrow and adopt the ordinance. Second. Motion by Mitchell, second by Perilla. Any other discussion on this item? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Aye. Alderperson Walton. Aye. Alderperson Decker. Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Aye. Alderperson Laster. Aye. Alderperson Mitchell. Aye. Alderperson Perilla. Aye. Alderperson Savaglio. Aye. Eight ayes. That's approved. All right, next is uh, ma other matters authorized by law. Uh, Assistant City Attorney Cameron. Resolution number 138-2122 by Alderpersons Mitchell and Felicki Paneski. A resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an engagement letter with Corals and Brady LLP to serve as bond counsel with regard to general obligation promissory notes. And that will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. All right, we've exhausted the agenda for the evening. Older person, Flicky Paneski. I move to adjourn. Second. There's been a motion and a second to adjourn. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We're adjourned at 632. Wow.